God damn it. I can't stand that I can't unselect. They let me select a category, but they won't let me unselect a category. Oh, well, I screwed that. I did that wrong. Into the refrigerator with you first, food. Then, ditch everything over here. Uh, let's... I think I'll need that. Keep that with me. Time to pare this down. Go to, uh... Who's get rid of all of... Oops. There we go. Next decision. Do we... I think I'm going to wait until we're healed up. Let's wait a night and we'll we'll head in and take a look. I consider this going to the, be the more dangerous part of this, uh, this endeavor. The upper floors of the research facility. Way more can go wrong here. It's way more uncontrolled circumstances. And a high, high enemy population and a pretty high uh, danger level of enemies. So... We better be prepared. I think we're gonna we're gonna leave, spend the day and the night, or the, the day getting some reading or something done, and then uh, we'll come back fully healed. So towards that end, we'll park up north as has been our tradition. <laughs> uh, there's an absence. <laughs> there's an absence. There's an emptiness. Huh. Still hanging out here from the uh, last portal storm, are you? Huh. Maybe I won't stick around here. I don't know what other leftover things might be uh, causing problems. Go find somewhere else. Makes me nervous. <laughs> it's a well shredded vehicle. Uh, well shredded. I might actually grab some of this stuff. We might end up having to do some uh, do some things. So note: dreaded vehicle. We'll leave it for the moment. For moose. Is it a damaged moose? It is not. It'll be a friendly moose. I think this is good enough. All right. Well, I think I, I think there was a fitted army helmet down there, and I left it. Could have grabbed it. My bad. I didn't. I remember looking for tack gloves. I didn't see any fitted tack gloves. I actually probably have enough skill to refit these. We'll have to give it a try. I don't know what materials it's going to take. Um, we got a tiny bit of candle left. Nope, not that one. Hmm, or not. Back gloves. Um, not quite enough to, uh... <clears throat> Now nah, let's hold off on that. 
think the helmet I have to use. Uh, Or not. Or I'm looking on the wrong. A army helmet. Repair using gunsmith, miscellaneous, soldering iron, extended multi. Ain't fine. Soldering iron. Got all picky about it. And again, not quite enough. Okay, unfitted it is. Let's have uh, a cookie. Tortilla chips, milk balls, ashes. We slap on any band aids. I guess we should make sure we get things covered. Cause you probably doesn't need it, but you. <laughs> list. All right, good to go. So healing's done. Uh, I can't fix the fitting on the gear. Other than that, I think I'm gonna stick with the gear I've got. Got duplicates or anything? I don't think so. Oh yeah, reloads. Check the reload status on my uh, eight by forty. What do we got? Hey, all right, we got a little more than I figured. We got, what, 240, 260 or 280 or so? Plus what's in the gun. So a little over 300, 320. So that's a little better than I thought. We'll keep using it. Go ahead and reload it, though. Well, it's full metal jacket. There's a thing of beauty right there. Pristine condition battle rifle with a full magazine. Unfortunately, it's not the 250 round magazine, but pff, when am I ever going to get into an engagement where I use more than 100 rounds? Never. <laughs> I'm either too smart or too dead to ever go through 100 rounds of ammo in a single engagement. Now, nah, we're not doing mutagen roulette this run, sorry. That's right, I brought all that mutagen stuff out. I probably shouldn't have bothered. Uh, I gotta go back through chat here. I've been focused on the screen for quite a bit. Yes, this is Chibi Ultica. Dead People Tile Set is a dead tile set. Hasn't been updated in forever. Got abandoned. No, we have not gotten around to repairing the Humvee. We've only seen one so far, and we haven't gone back to try to fix it up. We're focused on other things. Now that we know the Exodii are totally useless, they are dead to us, I can uh, rejigger my, my plans. Uh, what's going on with the turret conversation? Yeah, look through the whole thing. Turrets won't shoot you when you melee combat them. Last time I checked, which is, I don't know, a couple months ago, they still didn't. They will shoot back if you shoot them with something, though. So. Uh, you want to try to kill it in one shot. Point blank, shotgun... Heavy armor piercing type weapon, burst fire, whatever you got to do, but try to make sure you kill it in one shot. Um, no, you're not going to get shot by a turret from a thrown item. You can throw pipes and rocks and so on to kill a turret. Again, last time I tested it, which has been a few months, so unless it's a really recent change, turrets do not return fire against uh, thrown weapons, or thrown items. Uh, 
anybody's actually tested that more recently, feel free to let me know. A lot of chat to go through. I'm almost there. Do, 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 do. Can you sell mutagen to the outpost people? I have no idea. I don't know. No, you did not have a turret shoot back at you from a thrown item. <laughs> it's been this way for a very long time. I've got, uh, I've got videos explaining it, talking all about spoofing uh, the exit turrets and the labs and demonstrating how it works and all that kind of stuff. So, like I said, if you haven't tried it very recently, then it's not worth talking about. But yeah, let the, the turrets only have a four vision range, so you stand at five spaces away from the turret. You can throw, if, if it's all dark, no light whatsoever, and uh, you can just throw, it depends on your strength, so the higher your strength, the easier it is, of course. But um, a couple of points of throwing skill and some pipes thrown at the turret four spaces, five spaces away, uh, you can do damage to it. It's going to take about 30 pipes, because you're only going to do two or three hit points per if you're you're lucky um, and you have like a 10 strength but the uh, the more throwing skill the more strength the the lower the item needs to be but rocks are a little harder to come across in a in a lab but pipes and chunks of steel have the highest bash values for that kind of endeavor works fine and then you can also use the uh, solid snake cardboard box routine to stab it to death with a uh, with a reach weapon just don't get adjacent Okay, uh, I'm all caught up. Let's uh, let's figure out what we're gonna do. So, as I've been mumbling and mentioning, uh, we cannot use the Exodii for this. So they are apparently geniuses at installing bionics and uh, absolute morons at removing bionics. So we had a 55% fail rate on uh, fixing or removing my squeaky ankles, and um, that's that's no bueno. That's that's stupid. So unless or until somebody goes in and fixes their ability to remove CDMs. And they're supposed to be the interdimensional, you know, cyborg geniuses with bionics. So I think it's an oversight, if anything. But however, plus their interface infuriates me and the process of getting gear to them infuriates me. The forced uh, item hoarding infuriates me. I, I just, I'm not going to be bothered. So we're not going back to the Exodii. Uh, we have failed yet again in trying to engage with that whole system. Um, so we're on our own. We're trying to find a doctor's badge, which we have failed. We have to go to the upper floors if we're going to try to get a hold of one. This is still by far my best opportunity to accomplish this because uh, getting the badge is tough anywhere else. And we've got the nurse bot, the friendly nurse bot, in this location. So it's pretty much do or die. We're, we're going to keep exploring this upper floors until I'm either dead or we get a doctor's badge and we can uh, get to work. Towards that end, it would be uh, helpful if I were to raise my healthcare, my computer, and my electronic skills. Um, we're at healthcare like five and a half. Where are we up to? Five and a half, I think. Uh, where are you, healthcare? Yeah, exactly five and a half. Look at that. So that's hard to raise beyond four nowadays because there's no practice recipes to use to take you any higher. Um, the only thing you can do is craft anesthetic, which has very, very... Uh, disparate and difficult generally to achieve uh, requirements for uh, both skill levels as well as uh, materials. You need some pretty exotic materials, so it's a bit of a slog to try to raise healthcare, which is the primary stat used. So I can uh, raise computers to five. We've got the books for that uh, to get theoretical to five, and I've got, I think, all the tools for the practice to do that. And then in electronics, uh, there's there's ways to do it. I don't remember what books I have. Let's actually read all of our books, but let's get that done. But uh, the general goal of the my my bionic monster challenges is always to uh, remove all of the defective CDMs, and then figure out anything else fun we want to do, or or just go die somewhere or whatever. Um, so yeah. So we're pretty pretty focused on getting that done. All right, so here's my options. So like I said, we've got computer science, and then we've got the second, the middle computer book as well. Uh, right there, computers three, computers four. So we can take uh, computer sciences up. We don't have the final book uh, to raise the theoretical, but 
that's good enough. And then, uh, do I have any electronics? I've got electronics to three. And then beyond that... I got electronics four. <laughs> do I have a bridge from three to four? I don't have a bridge from three to four. So we need to craft something to get to four, and then we could continue from there. All right, so we got a few options that we're going to focus on. Uh, I'm not too interested in raising much of the other ones. Fab one more level, tailoring one more level, I guess. But we can craft something to do that. Um, yeah. I've been trying to pick up some of the meters. Uh, we got like the multimeter. I, I forget what else. Yeah, we've got a voltmeter. We've got a multimeter. I anticipated possibly needing those things. Um, so here's our practice list currently. Bandaging advanced. <laughs> okay. Uh, will not increase your healthcare skill above three. <laughs> so, like I said, not too useful. That's the advanced. Uh, electronics soldering. So yeah, there's the electronics. That'll only take us to two. But, you know, it, it helps. And then I think we can go from there. Um, there's the computer beginner. I just need... Uh, battery charge. I think we have a laptop, and I just need to get the battery charge in and we'd be able to do the computer training. Mm, welding. Now that we're using guns more, I don't think I'm ever going to get my damn unarmed combat to five. I was trying to get my unarmed combat to five so we could take full advantage of our Aikido, and it just hasn't, hasn't panned out. Yeah, that's where we're getting the 50% is from the uh, <laughs> large-scale bandaging I'm doing to myself, but that takes quite a while. I'm not going to worry about it. Yes, the, the fail rate was the exact same chance for Rubik, who has... What, what did he have? We looked at his NPC stats. He had like seven healthcare, uh, five or so computers and electronics. And he had a 55% removal chance. I tried it myself in the bunker we found with five healthcare, so two less healthcare, and none of the other skills, and I had a 55% fail chance. So, <laughs> I don't know how that works out, but for whatever reason, they're terrible at removing CBMs. So, that and they steal your crap when you don't like the numbers. Not a fan. All right, uh, let's get back to business. Um... Let's go, and uh, we're bandaged up. I need to go about 10 hours of reading or something, and then we'll sleep the rest of the day away, and then we'll head back in. So, towards that end, this candle's going to run out. I don't think I have any more candles. This is everything. I don't have storage, so I can reach all my items from here. So, yeah, we're out of candles. I'll have to use something else. Aisle lights or whatever. All right, so let's just uh, let's read computer book. We'll read the computer book and then we'll do some computer stuff. We're fairly smart, so this will go pretty quickly. Or computer book. Candle is out. Six o'clock. That means it is daylight. We'll do some crouch reading. That's how everybody does it, right? That's how you guys do your your studying, crouching, you know cowering in an RV in the middle of a field, letting the light stream in while you uh, you read your computer book. Ah, the candle got me to the daytime, so I don't need to worry about the owl lights. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. I didn't notice how much time was going by. I forgot it's processing time really quickly. I wasn't watching. It's way later than I my, my plan was. Uh, yeah, let's stop doing that. It is a giant fly. All right, I don't care about a giant fly. Always hydrate first. Fill that belly with some water. We are full up. Still overweight. Um, the stupid flies. I, I hope it's not loud enough to wake me up. It might be. That'll be annoying. 
I don't want to put earplugs in because I want to be able to hear when something tries to dig its way into the vehicle to come get me. Uh, yeah, nothing there. Let's just try to sleep. So we're fully healed before going to bed. Kind of figured that would be the case. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's just go to sleep. So 14, 1500. Seven hours to midnight. No. <laughs> Wrong bad math. Nine hours to midnight. Um... Yeah, let's sleep seven hours. I don't know how long we're going to be in there. It probably won't be long. We'll be taking so much damage from things, but... Yeah, let's go seven hours. Look at time speed by. Glorious. Okie doke. Can't see the space next to me because my perception is so low because of our... Visual distortion CBM, giving me hallucinations. This time, let's have... Oh, let's start the day off right. Let's have a chocolate bar, some fruit, eight, peanut butter spread. And some more water. Cool. Satisfied and turgid. Still hallucinating. Still, uh, really? I'm still radiated? I'm picking up more rads somewhere? Hmm. Thought that would have bled off already. Alright, let's have some, um, Prussian. I have a Prussian blue tablet. Help absorb that, uh, leach that radiation out of my system. What else am I going to take in with? I, I actually don't want to take these in because if I ever use them, I'll end up burning the building down, which is, you know, contraindicated for a place you want to loot. So I should probably not tempt myself with uh, the Molotovs. Grenades are fine, although I need to save those for better circumstances. Uh, baton is my backup blunt weapon. Between that, that... And my claws, fairly well covered. Probably leave the tools. I don't have a lot of use for those inside. Ditch the book. Cloudy out. We got no moon bonus. Is that a thorny moose shambler? <laughs> oh God, more variants for animals. A thorny moose shambler. I've never seen a thorny moose shambler. How new is that? This once great moose is covered with long matted hair twisted with thorny vines that wrap together and then twist back into its body. Long interlocking thorns wrap its antlers dripping with a silvery liquid. It has to have been in the game for a little bit, unless they're coordinating the anno the upgrade update of the <laughs> the actual thing with the uh, tile set. We have a tile for it. I just never seen one before, so I don't know uh, how long these have been in. And what is? I mean, he's damaged. So did he actually fight a shambler, and this resulted, or is this a variant of the animal? And the poor moose we saw earlier that was just you know minding its own business has been turned into this. don't know and he's gonna charge me at moose speed <laughs> that's what I worry about our entryway still clear always the first question <laughs> what's that deer gonna become when I come back out it's gonna be a nice cute little Bambi when we go into the facility but when I come out again and it's and I'm all wounded and, and limping is it going to be uh, an acid shock nega deer? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Still seems pretty clear. That's good. All right, I think we're set. 
Gear's in good shape. Full heal. Full ammo. Should have some carry capacity. There's not much I'm going to loot. There's very little in there that I would care about. Some books. Uh, the doctor's badge, of course, which is very, very tiny. Uh, what else is up in the upper floors? Really it. Possible uh, scientist drop loot. I'm a little nervous. Let's throw on the uh, the infra. I have no vision range. <laughs> sure, it's plugging away, huh? So the zombies in the uh, finale room are standing back up and then getting shot again. Okay. Off. I just dropped down here real quick. So... I have uh, I have no way in yet actually. I forgot that I had not torched my way out of here yet. Normally I have an entry here, which is my preference. I don't know if I want to go towards the middle section here. There's still a potential of a lot of zombies back there. But nobody had made an entry for me over here. We had a bunch of enemies out here. Yeah, I forgot about this. Did I make an entry with the uh, the van? I think that'd be my preference. Just uh, hop in the van and ram this to get it open. We'll make noise, but, you know, do I care? Or I can pop the back wall here. I think would have a similar effect. This is bathrooms, I think. I can't remember the exact arrangement. This wall here is for the warehousing. Back. There's, I think there's bathrooms. I am not wearing the goggles. I could be getting snucked up on. Whoa! Well, hey there, moon. The clouds are gone. So nothing in range of the goggles, and the goggles have like 60 range. They are on. So that's a good sign. All right, what do you think? Brick wall or metal door? I like the brick wall choice just because it's a shorter trip. <laughs> if I have to get out, the door would be a little easier. Um, first, let's make sure of a few things. Oh yeah, that's right. I forget. It's pristine condition because we're in a we're in a lab, Good old pristine minivan. I guess we'll do the uh, we'll do the door. Let's go in backwards. Try to preserve the engine block in case I have to use this van to uh, clear out. Anything that comes out of that door. Let's see. What do you think? 24? Eh, I think 24 might do it. You hear crash? You hear metal screeching? I'm not sure if I made it. <laughs> I think I did. Can't tell. Uh, let's use the headlights. We'll flip it around and take a look with the headlights. Yeah, that's all I need. I just need one, one block. Cool. I'm just going to sit here and watch for a short bit. Nothing is popping out. I'm coming from around the corner. Oh, see, look at that. Look at that. Hey, zombie. You what? Let's let him know I'm here. I'm sure, I can get him without smashing into the wall. Ah, -ha, Trixie! He got Trixie on me. He shifted right up against the edge. You bastard! Let's peel him off the wall. 
<laughs> Back up. So far, that's it, huh? Keep the vehicle close. Yeah, let's keep the vehicle close. In case I do have to start running again. Naturally. I <laughs> take a step. We have targets. Eh. <laughs> That's great. I can see him with the infrared, but I can't see him with the light. Ah, oh, the joys of the cataclysm lighting system. Few painting zombie crawler. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna fight you either. I want all you guys to come out of there at once, not just one at a time. Uh-oh, something a little stronger. I saw something flash on the screen here. The different uh, higher danger level color. Ah, every time I, I'm there. Smoke zombie. Oh, coming at me from that direction. Uh, Almost dead. All right, him we can run over. Probably going to catch some smoke. Didn't kill him. And another zip. Damn it. Woo, pupating crawler. Is this the, uh, I think he's healing back to full every time I back up. I gotta hit him hard enough to kill him in one go. I really don't want slime all over my one entryway here. He's gonna, he's gonna keep sliming the joint. Yeah. Now I keep going through the uh, smoke as well, which is not good. All right, let's try to get him. You back to full? Yep, back to full. He's the uh, super healer. Uh, we might end up hitting that door again. If I don't stop in time. All right, he's dead. Gotta stop. I can't hit the door at that speed. I think that guy... Oh, now the thorny shambler shows. <laughs> I hate it when they do this to me. They do it all the time. If I sit here and just wait, nobody ever shows up, despite all the noise I've made. But as soon as I start engaging in combat, I kill one, I back up, I think it's time to go in, another one shows up. I get back in the car, I kill it, wait, nothing shows up, I get out of the car, something shows up. <laughs> it's constant. Constant. Um, here I am. Come get me. And of course, hug the wall again. There we go. Opportunity has knocked. Uh, I'm not sure. Eh? I'm sure, they're dead. Uh oh. <laughs> I think I busted my headlights. So much for the the headlights. All right, we'll leave the uh, thing right here now. Whoops. All right, so we just got darted. Let's uh, back up to the vehicle. He's almost dead. I really don't want to waste a shot on him, but I might have to. Try to butt stroke him. Cool. Whacked him for 19, stunned him. He's got a headlamp. All right, I think I need to worry about. Uh, we don't have internal light. I think it's time to itch infrared. And go for the cheater spec. No rucksack. so much stuff in here even at 50 percent all these samples tons of samples again game why you know give me all this stuff when i'm actually doing eh, the solar backpack 
Why you never give me all this fun stuff when I'm actually doing a mutagen run? Book we can use at least. <laughs> so many. Oh, that's a portal. I might be getting irradiated by the portal. I can't remember if it's just one space or if it goes more than a space. Separation funnel. And it's a step away from the portal. UPS. Or I guess we can grab a UPS. So, no, definitely got some folks on the other side of those doors. I'll grab a short rope. This is where the uh, the wall has been removed. Yet another solar backpack. Ooh, filter mask. We'll take filter mask. Finally got some better mouth breath protection. Fractional distillation. Anybody need rebar or rocks? Well, I'm having a sale. More samples. All right, one of the first, ah, <laughs> dead eyes, dead eyes. So what killed him? Uh, oh, came, the wall's open, so cool. Somebody's doing God's work. Bad tools, terrible tools. Uh-oh. steps believe I have all of that stuff all right so helpful there so yeah I was right Ooh. bathrooms we, we, we would have been okay either way uh, hey, zombie scientist. Welcome downstairs. Um, this is where... Oh, I should have switched the... Uh, damn it. I should have put a strap on this thing. I might go out and put a strap on this thing. What do I need to make a strap? I've got a rope. Hold a strap. Short rope. There you go. I'll just uh, hide in a corner somewhere and make a, sh a strap real quick. Once we deal with this guy. Let's try some melee. Twenty-six. Ooh, has Matt come downstairs also? That could be a problem, depending on what else comes down. I'm okay with these two. I don't want to move away from my, my rifle. <laughs> come on, doctor. Give me or scientist. Give me a doctor's badge. So, I'm gonna put the claws away. Grab the rifle back up again. And let's go into the back wall still whole. Activate. Strap it. Getting, I can now attach this to my backpack and stuff, so I don't know if it's actually useful to make the straps anymore. I just hook it on the backpack. I don't know if there's a net benefit to hooking it on the backpack. I guess I'd have to check the encumbrance. So, let's do so. 
Stop wielding. Look into the backpack. Torso encumbrance is 44. Wield battle rifle. Eight. Over strap. Where? Battle rifle. 47. That's because we're getting the uh, multiple items negative. So it's actually better not to strap it. I don't know if there's a difference in um, draw cost, how, how, how fast I can grab it. So it's, it says 527 to wield from there. So if we... Uh, not wield it. Yeah, put it there. Does that make any sense? I I, I mean, I I don't know. <laughs> it's it's three times faster, roughish, to dig it out of or to unclip it from the hiking backpack than it is to pull it off my shoulder. When hooked on the backpack and we can knocked off, I yeah, that's that's a thing now. That would be rough. Where's my where's my battle rifle? And that's usually what the thing's doing. It just feels weird that. Um, I mean, I've got to be attaching it to the battle, the, the hiking backpack, but it's only 155 per this screen to wield it from its uh, hook to the, the hiking backpack position. But it cost me 500 something just to slip it off my shoulder and start aiming. That doesn't sound right to me. It's the, the variation seems too big. Now, the numbers could be lying to me. We've seen that instances of that. So I, I don't really know where what to blame or, or how to think about this, but that just seems weird. For just the sole act of uh, keeping it from being able to be dropped when you're fighting. Doesn't the being dropped thing usually happen when you're grabbed? I want to say it happens when you're grabbed, not just randomly. All right. Well, I'll have to put a, a bounty reward out for anybody that spots my battle rifle hitting the ground when I don't notice it. <laughs> we're going to keep it in our hands for now, though. All right, so we're done with the first section. I'm, I'm going to go up from here, up the floors, and investigate the upper levels to find books and a doctor's badge. Uh, before I try to go anywhere in the rest of the lower ground facility. Let's see if there's anybody waiting for us. Mad scientist, zombie scientist, and a necro boomer. Alright. Is a uh, mad scientist... What, what are you... What are you rocking, mad scientist? I need a razor sharp blade. Alright. We try to pull them downstairs. Cool. Who else? Just them two? Alright, so how much does it cost to put it on my shoulder? Yeah, 155 on, 155 off, supposedly. Yeah, pretty quick. Nice. Oh, I was certain he would go down after that. Heavy arterial bleed, he'll die on the move. Eventually. Eventually, eventually. <laughs> There's the scalpel he nicked me with. Two down. So Necro Boomer is going to go boom. Uh, not like I can be quiet. He has moved off. Corpse of Zap Radigan. No, oh, poor Zap. Skitterbot. Somebody killed the Skitterbot. All right, come here, you. Don't care about the bathroom. Let's wait here and see if anything shows up from the noise. From either upstairs or <laughs> on the same floor. Go check for books. Wrapper. 
Car buyer's guide. Not sure I care about any of this. Some jump shoots and boots, and cargo pants, sneakers. My sneakers are fitted, right? Uh, all right, brain. Where where are the sneakers? Uh, where are my sneakers? <laughs> uh, oh, the atomic tap shoes. Damn it! Damn you people and your renamings. You do this on purpose. Just to see me go, where, where's my, where's my thing? My thing is missing. I'm not sure, I can't remember where the doctor's badge is likely to show up. Is it the, the end room in this row where the offices are? Get. I think there's like a spot where it's either guaranteed or it's high likelihood, and I, I can't remember where that was. Two man hacks. Outside? Way outside. Or out, out of the perimeter. <laughs> the machete. I mean, uh, normally it'd be pretty fun to find a machete. We're a little late in the game for this kind of a character to care about a machete. Not really our style. It's our claws. Leave it alone. More dead man hacks. Why are there so many man hacks running around? Flying around. And skitterbots. At least the zombies have taken care of most of the uh, mechanicals. I'm going to open a door here one of these times and we're going to get a face full of man hack. Can't tell what floor all these noises are coming from. Oh, actually, is the doctor's badge clothing? Is it in the lockers? Maybe it's in the lockers. Maybe that's what I'm... Re I really should check more carefully. And man, are flying around outside. There might be a broken window sometime, and they'll finally be able to get to me. Yeah, I should check these lists a little more carefully. I've been kind of blitzing through these clothing lists. I don't believe there was one up there. Go back and double check that. All right, in here. Keep looking. Well, somebody's made a mess. Mouseketeer. Bio-op. Ouch. All right, I'm going to check the rest of that. A little worried about getting irradiated. Stay in there, Mouseketeer. Pudding! I'm going to be a sad camper if we get through this whole place and don't find a single doctor's badge. <laughs> That is gonna suck. And Hex outside still. Wow, protecting me. 
than I care about on the other side of the room. these rubble areas because they uh, occasionally get pretty heavy radiation doses. Autoclave pouches. I guess we should grab those. Hey there, Gargool. Critical stun. Ooh, got, a, got some hit points on him. Another critical stun. Look at that. That was nice. What did we accomplish that with? 43 torso, three hits? I don't know how dodgy the gargoyles are. All right, here's another one of the opportunities. There's badge. Come on, doctor's badge. Lab coats, everything but. Doctors. All right, that's this section. Um, all that noise ooh skitterbot really hope that noise is all coming from below me ooh skitterbots well we're not going to be able to check that room effectively chances are pretty low that what I have, want would be in there I don't want to deal with skitterbots uh, the whole side here is caved in that makes that a no go and man hacks are flying around oh crap can he see me he hasn't seen me yet but he might be showing up Yeah, I forgot I had the filter mask. Uh, let's take off the dust mask. Here's the filter mask. Eight filter mask. Good job, filter mask. Zapper zombie, way the hell off. That's as far as I'm going to go up here.
Okay, it's time to go up a floor. Ah, oh, that's not a good start. <laughs> How far away? 58. Is that outside the building? Or is that on the very edge of the inside of the building? Slightly damaged. But he can see all the way down the hallway, which is going to be a problem. <laughs> so many ham radio books. Bathroom has no storage. I don't know exactly how far he can see. That's inside the building, unfortunately. Yeah, he's a problem. Come on, doctors. Be a no? I don't know if he'll move. If I just pass some time. Don't want him in the uh, the primary line of sight here. He zapped us the last time we encountered one from a fair, fair good distance from the parking lot. I think I'm going to find it in this kind of loot locations. I think it's either going to be on a scientist zombie drop or it's going to be in a, a, like a locker clothing. I still don't pretty much see the exact spot. Let some time pass. Shifted a little tiny bit. He moved one space to the south. I think if I try to move to the next room, I'm going to be in range for him to zap me. Oh, I think we're getting tagged now. Um, what kind of chances we'd have to... <laughs> uh, 40% at precise aim. That's actually not too bad. I was looking at the first line here, and that's what made me laugh. But if we do precise aim 40, but that's, I think we're in range. I think he'll start zapping me before I spend the 380. Possibly I could inch my way further if I creep and use these, uh, these as blockers, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. And is it worth unloading a bunch of ammo? I think what I'm going to do instead... Yep, he just stared at me. Oh, he's coming for me. Um, What do you think? Hop into the room here? Let him come adjacent to me and then full auto him? If he'll do that? I'm not sure he'll do that. I don't usually have flaming eyes actually come all the way to me. Usually they're running away. Don't want to get full on blasted with all of the uh, the mind games, and then run into other things in here. So, run for the stairs and ignore him for the moment. Really don't want to leave something like this behind me. Good. Right. Let's sit here. Turn on safe mode. <laughs> start throwing up he's coming close he's actually gonna come right up on me is he 